Thanks, man. Uh, I've seen him just stand up a lot. He's a very, very funny guy. He's been in Johnson City a ton. I'm so stoked to have him back. Please welcome David Abel. We got my beer. <laughs> We're getting there, just give us a second. That's why I usually do. I needed that for my notebook. So, hello, Johnson City. I uh, started performing in Johnson City in 2014. Woo! So this is my comedy hometown, like first place. Like, yeah. Speaking of first place, uh, most people would have taken their coat off by now, but I'm having a little bit trouble cutting the umbilical corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little. I just kept it on for that joke. <laughs> so, about two weeks ago, I was in a car accident. I'm alive, I'm breathing, but my car did look like one of those cans of fish with the lid pulled back. But everything's kind of okay. And um, everything has a new kind of value to it. I feel a new appreciation in it. I'm 28, but I feel young again because everything that I do, I'm like, well, I might not have done that again. Well, I might not have done that again. So, like, I wear mismatching socks and whatnot. Like, I have no qualms about it. This is my Santa sock. Anyways. Um, so, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Any archaeology majors in here? Oh, goodness. Well, I have a joke about archaeologists. So. I don't know how archaeologists live with themselves. I could never date someone who... Okay, I was just on the interstate, so I'm, I'm collecting myself in a Zen place. I don't know how archaeologists live with themselves. I could never date someone who. Okay, there it is. I don't know how archaeologists live with themselves. I could never date something that I dug out of the ground. Oh. <laughs> Surprise charm. <laughs> Thank you for the support. This makes up for my childhood. <laughs> so, in having come out of this car, accident. I, I do have new like aches and woes and stuff like that. So I've uh, been recommended to do yoga, but it's cold now. And uh, you know, some people can afford physical therapy. I'm not some people. I'm, I'm this people. So my thought has been to do yoga with a space heater. So that way I can warm myself as I'm stretching. The only thing I have to be careful about is not setting my beard on fire. <laughs> I just did that in the microphone. That makes me feel a little creepy. Ah, Chick fil A. Oh. <laughs> 
I know this has surprised a bunch of people, but I've heard recently that Chick-fil-A believes in keeping families together. Because the other morning I heard about the chicken and egg sandwich. <laughs> I, um, I don't know if any of you want to stalk me offline yet. Yet. But if you do, it's easy to do. Just follow the trail of beard crumbs. I think uh, security cameras are the original selfie sticks. <laughs> That's just an observation. I throw those in when I don't have punchlines. I'm not upset about it. <laughs> the way I do things. But yeah, because I can't finish the story about the accident. I had a glass shelf in my back seat, so I'm really lucky that the situation played out the way it did. But I learned a thing. Uh, don't carry glass shelves in the back of your car indefinitely. <laughs> and don't throw stoners in glass houses. <laughs> I don't know if you figured it out. But, yeah. uh, speaking of death, um, I only want to be cremated if it's well earned. Uh, <laughs> you are in. Yeah. Thank you. That's a fifth of November joke. That, I've never gotten a good reaction to this joke before, but I'll try it for you. Remember, remember the 5th of November, I listened to Foxy Lady. The guy frogs. <laughs> but, I mean, I have to find a way to relate it to Jimi Hendrix more. And, and the gun powder. Someone knows it. Treason. Yeah. Very, very timely word. So I did go to ETSU. I didn't graduate. I lived behind campus, and uh, having been a Latin student for three years in high school, and uh, walking to school uphill, and walking from school uphill, brought a new meaning to the phrase etu glute. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM, I'm just going to get right into it. I don't need a dominant to choke me. My allergies do just fine. As for yogurt, this is really important to my sex life. I prefer my yogurt submissive. I only eat fruity bottoms. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Oh goodness. If only I had known. I didn't drop out of college four times just to get judged by other planets. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting graded by astronomical areas in space. Jewel, you, you know Jewel, like uh, the lady singer, Jewel. Well, she uh, played a show in South Korea recently, and she ended it by playing Who Will Save Your Soul. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I was playing a video game earlier today, and I had an anxiety attack. My emotions got out of control. <laughs> well, I'm gonna uh, leave you now, but then the host will be here, and then you'll meet my girlfriend. <laughs> my, my girlfriend's not the host. 
<laughs> but you will meet her. All right, thank you. Give it up for David Hagel one more time.